themarshallman.com. Taipei, the capital city of Taiwan, is known as being a spiritual island and a melting pot for traditional Chinese martial arts. Now the teacher that I'm meeting today is no stranger when it comes to Chinese Kung Fu. Having trained in various styles since the age of 16, he can now be found passing on his wealth of knowledge to his students not too far from here, outside the Taipei City Hall. My name is Adam Su. I, uh, I started martial arts training at my age 16. First year in high school. I saw with uh, Sifu Han Qin Tang. Sifu Han. Han. Han Qin Tang. Uh, he told me the long face. We have two branches of long face style. One is the Islamic long face. The other one called the Mayflower, Mayflower Longfist. Where well, I run into Longfist, just an accident or say uh, that was a uh, good luck. I just lucky to start with it, to start with the Longfist. Longfist long is, is really uh, most complete. I'm talking about Kung Fu technique, trainings, Mo most complete style I ever seen. And I, we talk about body chain a little bit earlier. Body chain is, is part of uh, Kung Fu movements. Uh, not, as, not as complete, not as big as the long fist style. And we talk about the Pigua Zhang also. Pigua Zhang is even narrower, smaller. Uh, you nowadays, you don't have to learn a lot. You just have to make it good. Even my technique is not very many. But I'm good, so I can fight. Uh, or in, in, in battlefield, or just private matching. Yeah, that's the, in, in ancient times, in old days. But talking about the promotion of Kung Fu, I do believe, <clears throat> I ask my students, all start with long fist. I open a big door for you. This is all here. And later on, if you want to study long fist, oh my God, that's a long, long trip. My, Long fist is so rich, uh, you, you can stay here all life long, you just do it. But if you that's not what you like, like people, people like to eat meat or seafood or some vegetarian, there's nothing right or wrong, people have different tastes. So I want to learn bagua, or say I want to learn tai chi, which is all totally okay. Uh, you can switch later. Uh, to my experience, teaching, teaching. Uh, if people start with long fists, uh, much easier for them to transfer to other style. Because long fists provide a fundamental training. Uh, long fists doesn't mean they are low level, but very rich. Uh, you can spend a whole life here, you can reach a high level, which is great. But if you don't, uh, I like Baji better. I like fermented, which is nothing right or wrong. You just go ahead and do it. So talking about education, talking about to teach, to help people, and to promote Kung Fu at the same very moment, then I feel start with long fist, we open a bigger door, uh, we leading you and show you all the directions, uh, all the cross streets, and where you want to go, uh, you can decide later. And that's why I feel so valuable. So. Oh. Your arm movement is twisting too. We don't punch it like this. We don't punch it like this. See, it's flat, it's flat. We go six turn, deliver one punch. Okay. One, you start with like this, from zero, 45, 90, 135, 180, got it. Six, total six turns, okay. six twists. So always it's twisting. It's like the rifle. Mm, it makes a spiral. Yeah, it might make a spiral. Yeah. So when you strike, you strike with the, the fist in this position, oh, yeah. horizontal. 
Yeah, one of the numbers. Yeah. Basically, basically. Uh, certainly, you can strike any other angle. Yes. Yeah. But basic training wise, you go this way. Okay. Make, it, make a full turn, so called. Yes, I yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah. To get an idea, get your body used to it. Then later on, when you, when, you, when you practice or even say when you fight, naturally you will go do a test. It. Yes. Yeah. Not a flat movement. Yeah, I understand. Palm too, like this. Okay. You, you just switch from this to this, that's all. They all the same, they all the same. But you still spiral in. It was a sparring. Yes. It's from here. It's all from here. Yeah. And the opposite uh, hand has an intention to go back. Oh yes, well. very important, very good question. We always say you punch with your both hands, both arms, not just a single one arm. A Chinese martial arts sailing. From arm, no, no, not a good translation. Forwarding arm punches. Backwarding arm issue the power. So strange. I'm delivering this, I'm punching, I'm, I'm doing that. What, what do you mean? You should, but no. It doesn't mean you don't use any power at all. But this one is really important. You, your movement is this way. To twist your spine. For the spine? For spine. Twist your spine. And the, yeah, yes, the fist, make a, make a fist. Your arm, your hand, hand. But the arm is not delivered from shoulder, from inside, from the spine. So the power is being circled around yeah, being the circled spine, and, spine out and out. I understand. In San Francisco, uh, my coaches, my students, they conduct in the Kung Fu class. When we get enough students, we have a class, and they always ask the kids, kids, Different age, of course. How many arms do you have? Everybody go, <laughs> of course, two. Two arms. <laughs> so funny, what a question. Yes. And my coach just say, oh, that's very good. But your coach, me, I have only one arm. And everybody goes, ha, 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 ha. So funny, how could you say that? We see you, you're right in front of us. You have two arms, right? Yes. We have only one arms, OK? The next question comes. How long your two arms put it together? Well, then everybody, cha 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 How long are you? Let me touch your arm and everybody. And then come out different questions. Oh, five feet, six feet, or whatever, you know. Then our coach will say, five feet only? <clears throat> hey, remember, your both hands, both arms together. One plus another one, so only five. Your coach, me, I have only one arm. My one arm is six feet long. Oh, how good is it possible? Oh. Then share with them the correct idea. In Chinese Kung Fu, we call one arm only. Okay. No arms, no S. Means what? From here to here. One arm with two ends, two ends. Left and right fist, or palm, whatever. Totally together. So you're saying that this is one unit? It's yeah, connected. one unit. Yes. You're right, one unit connected. And not, not from, well, we can touch only the surface. Just inside, get into your body and, and come up from your, from your body inside, come up here. Right. So that would make sense why one hand goes forward, one hand comes yeah, back. Yeah, right, that's why, that's the reason why. And also, as the Chinese martial arts sailing says, uh, uh, punch people's uh, form from, from, and look at people's back. How could we do that? When I punch you, I have to go there to look at you? <laughs> How could it possible? No, not just the mentally issue the power, deliver the power, had to concentrate the penetration. Right. Not just uh, hitting. Not on the surface. Not just surface, and making a contact, very strong, not just this. Uh, my arm just only this long, this is only, I cannot do any more. Yes. But mentally I have to do here. Here, this is the end, no, no end here. Bang, bang, bang. Now I can punch you a hundred times, hundred times. I'm making contact every single time. Uh, even like this, this is very good, like a massage, more, more, more. Yeah, you have to do the penetration, have that in mind to deliver. And that's the martial arts saying goes, uh, the, 
punch people's from and look at people's back. So the intention is to hit the back? <laughs> Through the body to the back. All the way. And to go past the body? Yeah, past the body to the, to the back, to the back. That's why we do the punch. And all the Chinese women should be twisting, whole body twisting. When I run a tandoi like this, I always told myself, explain to myself, okay, we're going to start to do the long fist. This is much hard, so I'm going to punch. Okay, you stand on this side. Okay, in my mind, I educate myself. I go hit. Maybe to kill the enemy, kill the tiger. Why in Chinese martial art, no way. That's totally non-Chinese. This is a defensive movement and attack put it together. What I mean is not here I am, I'm going to kill your enemy, but he punched me. He punched me. My way to do is this, and deliver my punch. So, you redirect so the first point. thing is to redirect the brush brush. This is a point, a point, a point. Agree? Pointing, point. Okay? In other martial arts, how many points you got, you win the game. But this is a line drawing. Agree? This is a line. And this is Chinese. Okay, so I get him away from my way and try to get into him. Maybe I successfully killed him hit him, maybe no, incorrect, or not so correct. So his second deliver coming, second deliver. That's why I'm going this way. But not this, in that Aisha. Ooh, it's her. He hurt too, but it's her. In Chinese martial arts, never should use hit, but brush, brush. So that's the second one. See that? Ain, ain. Russian. And after this, that's right. after this, here's the opening. That's why I try to get into here. Right. See what he do? He found you all. Found you all. Hey, see that? So he's also doing the brushing. Hua guo chi. Hua guo chi. Instead of hitting, you da wo yi xia. Da wo yi xia. Not this. That's incorrect. But brushing. Okay. Yeah. So that's the way we, we train people from the very beginning, first line of the first form. You have to learn, change your mentally, change your basic idea, not the pointing, hitting, hitting like this, yes. but always the line. This is a long line, and this is short. This is short. Okay. When I attack him, he will brush me. I try to defend that way. I try to hit him again with it. This is the point. Doesn't mean we don't hit the point. Always when you hit the people, contact the target, it's a point. But what he do, gua, gua. Yeah, it's brushing. Chow uh, wei chow wei chow. Ooh, not this, not this. So always brush. Yeah. What is the advantage of brushing rather than hitting? Why do, why do you like to brush the arm? I heard. Can I continue to fight? I can fight twice. One, ooh, hurt my arm by myself. One, hurt by him. Oh, ooh, can you fight? Can you fight more? So we always try to hide away, shut away, hide from this. We do the brushing. And brushing to redirect his movement is very important. Redirect means what? Get the door open, door open. So I can get in, this hand or that hand. But he's faster, his right hand come in, come in. So that's why I had to brush. TheMarshallMan.com